Hey guys, okay, so um, as you know, Trinidad and Tobago, the speed limit, we, this is the second video I'm actually creating um, where I'll be just, I want to talk a little bit about what people have been saying. So I've been looking at the news very intently and um, I was actually watching, I believe it was um, CNC3 and they were reporting in the morning um, where they invited one of my lecturers, my past lecturers, um, to speak about um, the speed limit. And it so happens that um, he spoke, and he was he, he spoke very well. That's um, Dr. Graham King, and he spoke very well. And he said um, that maybe the speed limit is um, is at a you know at a good at a good rate because of the re the responsibility that we need to have on the road, and of course of the carnage, etc. Um, at the same time, I also saw on CNC three during the news session, uh, Dr. Ray R A E uh, Furlong, I believe is, was his name. And he was saying that how um, the roads were designed to uh, to allow speed speed up to 110, and that's on the highway. And I'm a bit concerned. I'm a bit, a bit concerned that um, the doctor would say that because at 110, as I say, 110 is a little bit fast compared to 80. Now, of course, I am not the law, but uh, at the same time, we have to be responsible. And of course. Um, a lot of us are responsible. We are responsible while we are on the roads, but this is a matter of life and death when it comes to accidents. And while we may be responsible, it still, it still means that while we are responsible, some are not responsible and some go over the limit. So the question of whether we should raise the speed limit, it really depends. I'll tell you why. Um, I have seen a lot of the times where people have been driving or trying to attempt to drive at the 80 kilometers on the highway but they also tend to drive at that same 80 kilometers on a single lane road a single lane you know not a double lane um high, a highway but on the normal back roads and then you have you have to wonder again are these people being responsible and you might say well okay i'm driving i'm being responsible for myself but really and truly we have to understand that we are not perfect that we can make mistakes and do we really factor that into our driving because all it takes is really one mistake to occur for us to get in an accident and not just hurt ourselves but hurt the people around us i said previously that if you were to dodge a ball i'd rather dodge a ball driving at 80 kilometers than, than, than dodge a ball driving at 120 kilometers. You'll say, well, that's irrelevant. The point I'm trying to make is, is that there is a difference in speed. And that speed is still, if you were to compare 80 to 120, that speed is what? 33% more. So the question really is, yes, okay, we want to reach on time, we want to reach on work, we want to reach as fast as possible. But then are we really looking out? That love, that love factor, are we really, do we really love our neighbor? Do we really love the people around us? If we love them, then we may be able to slow down. I know that a lot of people will disagree, a lot of people will hate my opinion. The good thing is that I am not the law. And what I'm saying is I'm not necessarily saying that we should keep it at 80. Perhaps, if anything, it, we could reach a reasonable average, uh, perhaps at 100, if you can't drive at 120, if, I mean, 120 is pretty fast. Now, the other thing I wanted to also mention is that, yes, okay, fine, we're driving at 120, but what really happens if you do lose control? What if your ball joint decides to go on you and you actually lose control? Do we really have the infrastructure? Now, Dr. Ray or Dr. R.A.E., was mentioning that we do have the infrastructure and I disagree with him fully because I believe that we don't have that infrastructure. We don't have flat planes all the time. So if you were to drive off the road, you might end up in somebody's house. You might end up knocking away somebody on the pavement. So the question really is, is 120 really fast? Maybe even 110. Is 110 really an acceptable speed limit? I don't think so. I think that if you were driving at 110 and you lose control and poor thing somebody is walking on a sidewalk, I have, I have, I've heard of cars bouncing over sidewalk and killing people and flipping over, etc. So we're not thinking about those things. All we're thinking about is when how we can reach on time at a specific time. What we may be what we probably should have been looking at in the first place was flexi time because that's something that even I had a problem with I always had when I worked I never really got flexi time so the problem is you always you, I mean if you don't leave early you reach late for work and that's wrong and that's bad 
fine we have a we have a high we have a traffic problem well we could resolve that without having to be good always somebody beating you on on your head for rich and late maybe as i say we meet we do flexi time we do things where the boss would you know we would understand how we could you know work it out and that's how we should be running instead of focusing only on speeding up the speed limit speeding up the speed limit. we speeding up the speed limit we raising the speed limit because we want to speed up and that alone should show you that Perhaps we need to look back and we need to say, well, listen, we need to look at ourselves and say, are we really, do we really want this for our country or do we want this for just ourselves? So with that being said, I hope, you know, I hope no, I, I really didn't mean to upset you if I did upset you with this video, but it's something to think about as well in the process. Um, it might be justified. Some of you may be justified in a way uh, uh, to say raise the speed limit. But at the same time, as I say, why do we have insurance? We have insurance because we know that perhaps something can happen. At least the law, the law pretty much mandates us to have insurance, a third party insurance. Why is that? You ever wonder why that was so? That was so because while we believe and we trust ourselves, it does not stop necessarily an accident on the road. So we really need to be careful. This is about life and death. Stay safe on the highways, drive for others out there and just try to relax yourself while you're on the road and i hope that other people as well too because i've seen some really really bad drivers on on the road i hope that they will one day um come to more sense these young people as well it's not only young people but the old people as well even up to today I've, I've, i was driving at the speed limit and someone was right behind me you know bumpering right up i was just thinking when will we ever learn we want, to, we want to speed up the speed limit, but we're not learning. We're not learning how to drive properly. And then we want the government to speed up the, the speed limit. I mean, that's not really right either. So take care. See you soon. Please subscribe to my videos. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.